Pokemon Masters, Bucky Potobi here. Oh, I keep on struggling to get to sleep. I've been having bad dreams, nightmares about a Pokemon. A Pokemon that I thought was my favorite, but now I find absolutely terrifying. I'm talking, of course, about number 143, Snorlax. Snorlax is the sleeping Pokemon. It is one of my favorites, a generation one Pokemon. It is a normal type. With the ability Thick Fat, it is known for its enormous size and weight using powerful body slam attacks. It is rare, weighs just over a thousand pounds and has its own Z-move. This Pokemon is incredible. And its most common Pokedex entry says that this Pokemon is not satisfied till it eats at least 900 pounds of food a day. And then it goes promptly back to sleep. So Pokemon Masters, you might be wondering how Snorlax has become one of my favorite Pokemon. It started off as a bit of a joke, really. I mean, we all know I have an affinity for napping. Bird Keeper Toby, more like Bird Sleeper Toby. You've all seen Team Snooze. Many of you are members. Yes, I love to nap and I love to eat. And those are things that just resonate with me. And so when I see those traits in Snorlax, I think this is the Pokemon that best represents me. It's a classic Pokemon and it was part of the generation I grew up on. It was a, a viewer favorite. So why am I now scared of it? Well, I want you to think about the Pokedex entry that was just read to you. Snorlax is known to eat somewhere between 880 to 1,000 pounds of food every single day. And that just seems like a throwaway number. The Pokedex over-exaggerates all the time, right? But actually, that number, based on my recent research and the nightmares I've been having, makes a lot of sense. It is a monstrous amount. Granted, that much food is how much it needs to be satisfied, not how much it needs to be alive, but if it's in the Pokedex, then that means that that amount has been recorded being consumed by a Snorlax. And you can believe it from everything you've seen. And while mostly we see domesticated Snorlax eating fruit, it is possible that Snorlax eat other Pokemon. The problem there is just how many other Pokemon Snorlax would have to eat. Just have a little look at the graph I have made measuring the pounds weight of Pokemon. Yes, it could eat a Steelix once a day, of course, that's the same as eating two Tyranitars or four Kangaskhans, eight Hippopotases or 16 Azumarils, 32 Gumshoes or 64 Bulbasaur. Can you imagine it eating 64 Bulbasaur a day? That's the same as 126 Torchix in weight, 256 Togepies, 512 Joltix, or 1024 Minior Cores. Every day. And even if it's just eating fruit, which I doubt, the world's heaviest fruit is 70 pounds, so it'd still need to eat quite a few of those every single day. Now you're probably wondering, but Toby, why? Why are you so scared of Snorlax? You already knew that it ate loads, right? Well, go back to what I was talking about before, Snorlax eating Pokemon. There aren't a lot of Pokemon that match that kind of weight, 800 to 1,000 pounds. And Snorlax is likely uh, not a vegetarian. This is because it's based off of a bear, and bears are carnivores. And this is where I start drawing strings together, because Snorlax is a pretty rare Pokemon. It's said that when, when you battle it in the city, it, it returns to the mountains where it actually lives. That's what happens if you don't catch it. And sure, domesticated Snorlaxes are going to be eating a lot, lot less, because their trainers don't have access to that kind of food source. After all, consider that there's about 1,230 calories in a one-pound steak, and a human's daily recommended allowance is somewhere around about 2,000 calories. If you do the maths, you're looking at Snorlax eating a day to be satisfied over 1,842,000 calories. That is a lot per day. 540 times our recommended daily allowance. And this is why I'm so scared because Pokemon Masters, there is only one food source, one thing in the world of Pokemon that Snorlax is gonna be able to eat each day to get that kind of calorie intake, to eat that many pounds and be satisfied. And that Pokemon Masters, is other Snorlaxes. If you take into account that about 15% of our body weight is our skeletons, which presumably a Snorlax hopefully wouldn't eat, and you scale that up to the weight of a Snorlax and minus 15% of its body weight due to that being skeleton and bone, what is left in the organs and skins and, and furs and things of the, the like, that is what Snorlax would need to eat approximately to stay satisfied. The horrifying truth about Snorlax, and the reason it's so rare in the world of Pokemon only appearing one or two per region, is because in order to survive up in the mountains, Snorlax are eating themselves. And if you don't believe me, then know this. Cannibalism is a real thing, even in the world of bears, especially in the world of polar bears, when food is in short supply, and they will eat their own cubs. Poor Munchlax! 
And all my research has led me to believe that the only reason they put that information in the Pokedex and have that information match the weight of Snorlax is it's letting us know that Snorlax are cannibals. And the only way they are satisfied is if they kill and eat one of their own. Either that or I'm just overthinking it because of a lack of sleep. I should probably try and get some Zs. You know what I'm talking about, Team Snooze. Anyway, I should definitely try and catch some sleep. So high, Pokemon. Oh! So high. Pokemon Masters. A special thank you to the people who support this channel on Patreon. There is a lot going on behind the scenes and the patrons are the people who add an extra level of stability to the channel. Allow me to keep on making videos like this, allow for occasional days where there are multiple uploads. You and I really do have the Patreons to thank for that. So thank you Patreons and thank you to the big Patrons of this month. Joseph Schofield, Immortal Absol and Nicholas 0202. Thank you. This is Ash Ketchum. You just watched a video by Bird Keeper Toby. That makes you 